guys, I'm Richie Castellano. I want to thank Ben Hyman for asking me to be a part of this challenge. Uh, I want to talk about a few of the things I did in that example. Um, this is the pentatonic challenge. I think I failed the pentatonic challenge because I think I played a couple of E flats and a couple of Bs. Uh, I was trying really hard not to. It was a very difficult challenge. Thank you, Ben. Uh, so one thing you might notice is I do like to do the good old fashioned, you know, pentatonic scale. <laughs> first box, but sometimes I like to go vertically instead of horizontally. And a fun way to go vertically is to play the pentatonic scale like this. So you have these little like elevator notes that take you from position to position. So right? That's kind of a fun way to do it. Another fun way to, to get up the neck quicker is to use this little fifth shape. It's like a power chord shape. And if you stick to the pentatonic scale, the five notes we're talking about, you can do it like this. Right? Uh, so let's look at those notes. We have G, D, A, E, C, G, D, A, E, C. I had to widen the shape to an augmented fifth there, or a flat six, whatever, whatever Ben tells you, uh, just to make it work within the scale. You could stick with that if you wanted to throw the B in there, but I'm trying to stick to the pentatonic scale here. It's just a fun way to really get up and down the neck, and it sounds cool. Uh, a couple other things I did, and I kind of shoved these in there. Uh, the tempo wasn't really right to do any of this like shreddy stuff, but I think uh, I think Ben wanted to hear some of that, so. Uh, I did this like, so that lick is kind of tricky in this tempo, but um, I shoved it in just so I can show it to you. This is like one of these like looping rock licks that basically you can do over and over again while you think about the next lick you want to play or you think about what you're going to eat for lunch. But anyway, uh, it goes. So you start off, and I do it over here because I can do it down here, but it's a wider stretch. Here when the frets are tiny, it's easier. So, so I start off with that G, A, and then all the way up to the D, off to the A, then C, the A, it's like a pivot. So, and there's pull-offs there, so it's, so you do down, down, up, down, And then there's some other sequences you can do, like if you want to climb down the scale pretty fast, like... I, I kind of tried to do that in there, but it was like a little... It was... I crammed it in, you know what I mean? It doesn't really fit in this kind of style, but I want to show you some fun rock things you could do. Uh, another couple things you could do here is find some interesting chord shapes to play arpeggios, and I did a few of those, uh, because an A minor chord is in the A pentatonic, so you can do like... You can start off with an arpeggio and end it off with a bend, like you meant to do it. So there's a good old A minor shape. So we have a... Um, and you can do... You can combine these two ideas with a... Um, another shape I found was this... This kind of like G, uh, G sus4 sound. Which sounded kind of cool over... Which sounded cool over the five chord. He had that like altered five chord thing. I thought this was an interesting sound over that. I guess it made it like a, a sharp nine, 11 or something. That wouldn't be an 11. Yes. So you can like, if you want to be like Ingve, you can just bridge the different arpeggios like... So what I did there is I went from an A minor, I went to a G sus, then back to the A minor. A couple other things I did uh, that I like to do a lot is something I stole from David Gilmour from Pink Floyd, and those are overbends. So stuff like... That's when you bend note like a C up to a D and then you bend it up to an E. And it hurts a lot, but it sounds so cool. So those are some of the licks I was doing. Um, I can't remember all of them, but I hope this was helpful. And thanks again to Ben, and I uh, hope you liked this video.